Uh, hello. Um, hi. Oi. And Portuguese, not oi. Okay. Um, I want to talk about creatinine, but I'm still having a hard time. There's a lot of things I'm thinking. Uh, I'm cool with Rumble. Rumble, man, I'm coming to you. I'm coming to you. I'm getting a lot of support. A Rumble platform. YouTube. I'm worried about what I say here, so I got to figure this out. I got some old notes from back in the day, um, stuff I researched and just kept notes for me uh, when I was not doing uh, health, doing good health wise all of a sudden. Um, and I'm having a hard time. And then like even creatinine. See, this is for this is for people who are suffering and in, in on dialysis and dialysis centers. I get messages all the time my videos are being watched all the time every day and um i'll never forget just know that i will never forget i try to always i i have no shame in talking about anything um don't get discouraged um, I can't say what I want to say right now. I will. But if you go back to those play, if you look through the playlists at some other stuff, it may not seem like it, but I talk about, I talk about, um, some shiznits. Uh, that's how I met this dude. He was a nurse. It was nice meeting you, dude. Jacob, can I say your name? Jacob, it was nice meeting you, man. Uh, good talk, long talk, unexpected talk. And, uh, it, it, I just want to shout out to the nurses um if you just reach out to save one person's life you have done a good thing and you were not distracted by how do i say this corporations i'll say it like that but if you branch out you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying um that was a big war for me i should be saying some stuff like that on other videos so if you look at my Health playlist, I believe. Yeah. Health playlist. Uh, maybe even mental health playlist. I talk about a lot of stuff, but Rumble, I'm coming to you. I just try to keep this safe before this strikes so it can get to Rumble. And then Rumble, Rumble I'm doing live, I don't know, one of these days. Okay. Um, for people who don't know about creatinine, do I tell you that now or do I wait? I'm doing do two videos. Yeah, let me go ahead and read this. But I know I like to say some things about me. And that the time just really ticks. Hold on. Okay, I, okay, I know I'm going to do. Um, if you... <laughs> I like how they be doing that. If you look down below... Um, if, you, if you look down below in the description box, uh, I'm going to put what creatinine is there. And just read for those of you who are like, what is creatinine and how does it work and all that. You can look and read it down below, okay? Um, here, oh, let me say this, uh, you know, it's like, anyways, I'm, I'm YouTube and Rumble, you guys are night and day. I can tell you how I feel about you night and day. Um, I am not a doctor. Um, you guys know that, right? Um, and I'm not telling you to do this. This is what I did, <laughs> but uh, I researched. I didn't just jump and do it. I researched it, uh, and then I considered everything that was going on with me. Uh, I would like to say a lot more, but I cannot. But if you look at some other videos, why did I do it? You have to look at some other videos because. Uh, okay. The first thing I did was hydration, which was difficult. Oh, which was difficult for many reasons. Uh, we're just going to start off like when I was on dialysis. Um, it was very difficult because they dehydrated me. And it sucked. It hurt. All that stuff. Sucked, no pun intended. And um, then I hydrated myself. But then the hard part was maintaining. I had to maintain because my kidney functions was low. So you can really... Um, get excess fluid in your body. 
So I'm going to talk about what I did. But anyways, but I don't know what you could be going through. Um, and you could not be on dialysis. Like, just like I wasn't on dialysis. I had to do what I'm telling you here. I had to, I had to uh, drink plenty of water. Um, again, it, it's on your kidney function. Okay. But drinking plenty of water, uh, it helps, uh, flush out toxins. Yep. And, uh, waste products, including creatinine from the body. Um, You've got to drink the water if if you're good. But there's so oh, what stage? Somebody asked me what stage was I? I don't know. I think I asked. Um, I don't know. I imagine I was at a stage five when I went back on on dialysis. Uh, but I remember hearing three and four. Um, but I'm sure I was at five also. Um. Drinking plenty of water can help flush out. Okay. Uh, the next thing you can do is uh, dietary changes. Yep. Uh, a healthy, uh, balanced diet can help support kidney function. Eating low protein, and, and you must uh, look into this, low protein, um, it can help reduce creatinine levels. That protein will bring up your uh, creatine, if anybody's working on creatine, Um can bring up. I, I took creatine when I was the bodybuilder. Um, food such as berries. Oh, all of them. Oh, I'm bringing back memories. All the berries, cherries, apples, carrots, cucumbers uh, can help uh, promote kidney health. Eat that every day, all day, every day. You got. Oh, by the way, let me just say I was acute. I was acute uh, kidney failure, not chronic. I talk about that in a video too. Uh, okay. Um, exercise. I want to say something. Exercise. Exercise can help improve kidney function uh, and overall health. Aim for at least, at least 30 minutes of moderate intensity. Uh, exercise most days of the week. Um, yes, I walked a lot. Um, I walked a lot. It was not, it wasn't even, a, it was at least an hour. Um, because uh, first of all, we're trying to get that kidney function going. Second of all, uh, I want more toxins sweated out of me. Um, I'm trying not to say something. Uh, okay, herbal remedies. What am I thinking? Uh, well, just it was other uh, things that was uh, coming into effect. Stress, watch the stress and all that. But that exercise also helps with the stress too. Um, okay, herbal remedies. Such herbs, some, I'm sorry, some herbs such as nettle leaf. Nettle leaf, uh, I, I, I did tea, nettle leaf tea. Um, and dandelion root tea. I did dandelion root. Uh, may help support kidney function. Yeah, I got off. I mean, I got off. Um, however, <laughs> it is essential to talk to the healthcare provider uh, before using. I kept that on there just in case I forgot to say that I'm not a doctor. Um, number five. I'm sorry, this is my fifth one. Manage blood pressure. High blood pressure can uh, uh, damage the kidneys. Oh, yeah. Uh, so the, uh, what do you call that? The pressure cup? What do you call it? The pressure taker? What do you call that thing? That's your best friend. You you make sure that your pressure is good because if it is not and you are consistently keeping it at high, um, there's no bringing down your um, creatinine. Um, so high blood pressure can damage the kidneys and increase creatinine levels. Managing blood pressure through lifestyle changes and medication can help protect um, kidney functions. Look at some of my other videos. Oh, by the way, when I say exercise, that's the, does not mean lifting, lifting, stressing the body, lifting heavy weight. That will bring up your creatinine. But cardio, uh, you can lift weights, but don't, you know, just... Um, 
don't lift anything heavy. You know, don't be power weighting, lifting. No, okay. Uh, okay. Now here are some herbs uh, and supplements that um, that can help. Let me say it like that. Here are some herbs and supplements that may help support kidney function and reduce creatinine levels. Okay. I say this, which is very popular now. Um, I say this. I never noticed astragalus. Did I say that right? Astragalus. A S T R A G A L U S. This herb has been used in traditional Chinese medicine to support kidney health. Some research suggests that astragalus may help improve kidney function and reduce creatinine levels. I believe so. I went to this Chinese place during um, COVID. So, you know, everything was closed. I had to see them at the door. Um, and he, this dude knew right for me walking to the door. He, I didn't need to say much. Um, he had many questions on the phone and on, I had to take a survey or a questionnaire online and then made the appointment, went down there and um, he didn't need to ask me any more questions. He knew right off. And astragalus is one of the things that he gave me. I wish I could remember. Oh, it's got to be in there. Oh, no, I gave it away, didn't I? I wonder if I still have it. Um, uh, I believe that was a bit because I my creatinine, believe it or not, was coming down for the third time. I think when I say third time, yeah, slowly, but third time. And I'm going to say this. And that's when they fucked up my, uh, my, excuse me, that's when messed up my, uh, my nephrons. Bastard. It really, it, you know, it, you know, I'm allowed to be human once every now and then, ain't I? Okay, next thing. Cordyceps. Yeah. Um, this type of mushroom has been used in traditional Chinese medicine. I got a story about this. <laughs> uh, Chinese medicine to treat kidney problems. Some studies suggest that cordyceps may help reduce creatinine levels in people with kidney disease. Maybe, I don't know. I did a few sessions there. This is when I started to also first get into yoga. Uh, not deeply, but I did some yoga type things there and I thought that I would branch off. I'm still trying to get into yoga, um, but I just need to, I, I will. Um, I don't know. I know for sure the, astra uh, the astragalus for me Surely with this, but then I was just messed up so quickly. Um, but yeah, that mushroom and then they burnt some stuff and we did we did a toast of wine and they bong on the thing and uh, man, I felt like doing a that's when I did a haiku. I did a haiku video on here. That's because I was motivated. Okay. Uh <laughs> I'm remembering. Can I remember? Is that all right? Okay, let me say this also, which I've said before, but let me say it in this video. Uh, I did not stop taking uh, any other of the other medicines. I let them tell me the numbers, let the numbers reflect where they can't keep giving me this medicine because, yeah, I'm already at this level because I'm taking some other stuff. Um, so I'm not telling you again to get off the medicines. I'm not telling you to do any. I'm just saying research this. Talk to people you trust. Pray. I don't know if you don't trust nobody, but I still took the medicine and till I remember doctor, one of the doctors almost said his name, um, where he was like, she's like, I guess I got to get you off of this medicine. I guess so. Okay. Next one. Uh, alpha, uh, oh man, Laporte. Uh oh, how, I don't even know how to say this. I just know it. Alpha, how you say this? Anyways, light buck, how you say this? How come I can't say it? L I P O I C acid. Anyways, yes, must have. Uh, this anti uh, antioxidants. Uh, and this uh, antioxidant may help pr uh, protect the kidneys from damage and improve kidney function. Some researchers suggest that the alpha lipoc acid may help reduce creatinine levels in people with kidney disease. Yes, here's the key. The kidney is wounded and it still has to work as if it's normal. 
This is help relieving the kidney from filtering out toxins. Did a mosquito come in here? Uh, you want to relieve and same with the sodium. I got to talk in another video, but you keep that in mind. You want your kidney on vacation right now. You want it doing as less work as possible. That's why I say water because, oh, and watch the water. Oh, I should say, thank you. Watch the water also that you drink, uh, minerals, all that stuff. You want to drink what I drink was, uh, and even now I drink um, distilled water. Drink distilled water. There's nothing in there because you'd be surprised on how much stuff is in water and the kidney is going to have to filter that stuff out. So, um, okay. Um, and I also took, can, I, I might forget on my other video because I don't think it's in my other notes. Um, folic acid, just look that up. Put Just write that down, folic acid. I don't want to speak on it too much right now. Um, coenzyme. Q10, yes, uh, um, there's a place, if you go to like Sprouts, uh, there's it's a mixture of uh, co-enzyme, Q10, and, um, and uh, fish oil, uh, omega-3s. Uh, take that together. That would be great. Um, for me, I didn't notice, and I think I had a low dosage. I probably should have gotten higher. But uh, because I had some issues, so I had to determine. So I just, it was further safe than sorry, but I think I could have gone up a little bit more on my uh, milligrams. Uh, but at the same time, there was no keeping my pressure down because I was just around uh, toxic. I was around a lot of stress. Uh, I, there was a lot going on for me, so I was not able to keep it down steady. So for me, I didn't feel the effects really. I tried to keep it down, but there was just so much riffraff. And the last one, and not least, vitamin D. And that's in everything that's going on. Oh, I can't say these words uh because I'm speaking, I'm I'm putting it on another platform to on I'm putting it on YouTube. Anyways, vitamin D. Um vitamin D deficiency has been linked to kidney damage and uh dysfunction. Not in my case, I was right at the beach. Uh some research suggests that vitamin D supplements may help improve kidney function and reduce creatinine levels. Um, well, when I was on dialysis, I started taking vitamin D because there was a lot of times I was more inside, even though I was still outside, not as much as I was before. Uh, so um, I took vitamin D just in case also. Possibly, I, again, I got off. So... I took all these stuff that I wrote down. I got I got another video coming out. Uh, so I just wanted to put this out there for the people who are still struggling and watching my uh, videos, re-watching and re-watching. And I wish you guys the best. Follow your intuition. Okay. And I, I please look at the other videos. I speak freely there because they've already... They can't do anything else on those videos. Okay. That's it. That's it. Appreciate you.